my good day hello students welcome back to my youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe my tiktok page thank you so much hello students happy learning our lesson for today is law of exponents specifically quotient rule our objective simplifying expressions using the quotient rule of exponents by applying the example conclusion map when we talk about the example conclusion map i have here three boxes a cloud and another box from the given boxes above this will be placing the examples from the given examples your task is to observe the pattern for you to create the conclusion based from your observation from that conclusion that you have you can now create your own example this is the application of example conclusion map okay let's have example 3 raised to 5 over 3 raised to 3 is equal to 3 raised to 5 minus 3 when you subtract 5 minus 3 that is equal to 2 that's why 3 raised to 2 when we simplify 3 raised to 2 the value is 9 the second sample I have here, 2 raised to 4 over 2 raised to 4 is equal to 2 raised to 4 minus 4. When you subtract 4 minus 4, the difference is 0. That's why we have 2 raised to 0. When you simplify 2 raised to 0, the value is 1. Take note, any number or expression raised to 0 is equal to 1. Let's have number 3 example. x raised to 3 over x raised to 8 is equal to 1 over x raised to 8 minus 3. Take note, if the given exponent of the numerator is less than the exponent of the denominator, you're going to reciprocal. That's why we have 1 over x raised to 8 minus 3. Meaning to say, just simply interchange the exponent. That's why 8 minus 3 is equal to, we have 1 over x raised to 5. From that, observe the pattern of the given example. From that, you are going to create or make your own conclusion. So, we have concluded that quotient rule to divide expressions with the same base Copy the base, subtract the exponents, and simplify if possible. In symbol, a raised to m over a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. Meaning to say, just copy the base. The base here is a. Subtract the exponents. The exponents here is m minus n. This is the rule or the quotient rule for exponents. From that conclusion that we have, you can now create your own three examples. Okay, so with that, you're going to write your own example. Just simply comment down below your answer. You only have 10 seconds. Okay, ready, go. Time's up. Don't forget to comment down below your answer. Okay, so with that, I'm happy that you learned how to simplify expressions by applying the quotient rule of exponents using the example conclusion map. Till next time.